Hello. Getting ready to go to the range with uh, nothing but 22 caliber weapons. Got my Ruger 1022. Got my Beretta Neos. Got my Walther P22. And I have this, which is my daughter's Christmas gift slash daddy's Christmas gift, kind of. That is a Savage Mark II Bolt Action 22. Still clip fed. It's not uh, tube fed or integral box fed. I like to clip fed. If she enjoys shooting it or if I enjoy shooting it more and more, I'll buy some more of these mags and be able to load them up all and keep going and going and going. Pay a little extra to get the wood grain instead of the black synthetic because then we end up keeping it as long as I hope. I want it to look good. Sights aren't too bad. Sights actually, oops, damn, I won't scratch my wooden. Sights actually look pretty good. And to help them out a little bit, I put a little dab of sight paint on the very tip of the ball that we're going to be aiming at. It is a little long and a little heavy for her, so I know she won't be able to shoot standing up. I'm going to have to put her on the table with a bipod and let her shoot that way. want the bolt action because A, it's a little harder for her to work on her own, which means I don't have to worry about, or I have to worry less about an accident of some type happening. The Ruger 1022 of mine, I was just going to kind of gift to her, but the trigger on this is way easier. Which is a good thing and a bad thing, I guess. There we go. It has this little bit of take up, which is also a built in safety feature, so if you drop it, it won't pull the trigger until this is already back. But once you're on the trigger, excuse the dry fire of a 22. Takes very little to pull it back. Which is why she's not shooting my Ruger 1022 because the trigger on that thing, I've never noticed it, but apparently it's atrocious. Um, and I got this for less than what the, like a Volkster drop in trigger would be for the Ruger. So, there it is. I'm going to take it to the range, see how it functions, bring it home if it functions properly wrap it up and put it under the tree. Wow. Can't tell Christmas Eve because apparently Santa Claus gets credit for all my purchases still. What a douche that guy is. Alright. I'm out of here.